So that's our shout outs. Our sixth section. What's next, right? Your, your Number rant. six. Do I have it or should we just do? It's 602. You have time for your rant. Okay. So I don't really, I, there's a lot of things I watch on YouTube. I love YouTube. I'm a big Jared Poland fan. I like Jared Poland. Frono's photo, right? Uh-huh. Um, and I'm a big Pat the NES Punk fan. Yes. I love the CU podcast. I love lazy game reviews. I love a lot of, I love a lot of things. I love educational content. Yes. Uh, like Jared Poland does that and he's, he's pretty good at it. Um, but I came across a video where it was a guy trying to teach somebody how to mix, trying to teach the audience how to mix. And it was like uh, mixbetternow.com or some. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so there's apparently a cottage. I guess I, there's always been a cottage industry of this. But screw that guy. He was giving really bad advice. And I think I'm going to have to do. A, I think I'm going to have to do a mix tutorial video myself just to like point out that y'all are overthinking this. Uh, a mix does not need to be complex. No. The reason I mix analog whenever I can is because literally I have an EQ section, it works. I have faders, they come up and down. I can go left, right, I can send it to four different things and I can patch in inserts if I really want. I normally don't do any of that. Normally I'm, I'm just balancing and calling it a day. If the source is good, yes. you don't have to stress about this. I, people get too hung up on the mix. Like, the mix yeah, should be good. You just need to be able to hear everything. Like, once everything is audible, then the rest is artistic decision. Yes. And I make artistic decisions with my mixes all the time, but you can always hear everything. Mm -hmm. That's all you're trying to do with a mix. The rest is just making decisions that, that are like, don't, don't get too hung up on it. All that matters is output. But quit watching these, these terrible tutorial videos where they're telling you to put stuff on the two bus... Before, before you even mix, before you even like throw a fader up, the guy's sitting there going, oh, when I put this plug in and this plug in and this plug in on my two bus, just to really get it to glue together. You know what makes a thing glue together? Recording it properly. Having a cohesive musical idea helps it glue together. So we're going to do a mix tutorial video and it's going to be a yes. lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun, but really like just get, don't, don't put stuff on your two bus to, to for everybody who's not, for everybody who's not initiated, the two bus is this fader here. This is my overall volume. Everything that, every microphone that gets plugged in up here comes through all of this and through basically this red slider and then comes out into the speakers, right? I'm, I'm oversimplifying. But what they're, what they're recommending doing before you even like listen to anything is to add a bunch of effects right here. And every plugin degrades your audio just a little bit. It's a, de it's a degradation. So if you're going for like hyper stylized pop art, sure. But if you're going for something that'll stand the, like if approaching you're going for something listenable. <laughs> yeah. Do that again. Test. If you're doing something listenable. See, now all of a sudden you're quiet again. What? Is it, am I on a cord? I don't know what's going on. Maybe the audio's bunked this week. I don't know. Maybe. So we'll figure it out. So we're just, we're, we're just trying to figure this out, right? Everybody is on YouTube going, how do I mix better? Uh, here's how you mix better. You listen. Yes. Can you hear everything? Okay. They got, guys get really hung up on like, you know, doing carving out and things. You can. You can totally do this. But honestly, if you're trying to look up how to mix better on, on the internet, like, just keep it simple. What I use on every channel... When I go digital, I use PSP Vintage Warmer. I use a plug. I use a preset called Tape Normal. It adds just a little bit of compression. Simulates the sound of tape. See, I think you should save this for your mix video. <laughs> Fair enough. So we'll do that. Uh, the other thing I'm, I'm going to have coming is um, why I actually record to analog tape, a defense yes. of the cassette. 
Yes. So, so yeah, that's my rant. So what's our final section?